I swear, you have missed your calling. I don't even know why you bother to write. You want to carve with us? Oh, I can't. I'm off to a masquerade ball. Perhaps I'll meet my Gatsby. Oh! Oh, Mother, I'm impressed. You still fit in your prom dress. Uh, thank you, darling. <laughs> have you asked him yet? I was waiting for the right moment. Oh? Ask me what? Paige and I got invited to a party tomorrow, the night before Halloween, by seniors. Are your grandmother's friends? No, Dad. Twelfth graders. But it'll be supervised. This is one of those crossroads moments, isn't it? Oh, let her go. She's far more responsible than you ever were. Yes, you can go. But if anything happens that makes you feel uncomfortable, anything at all, you call me. I don't care what it is. And there'll be no punishments, no incriminations, nothing, I promise, just oh. so long as you call. Yeah, 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 I will, I promise, but nothing's gonna happen. But there's one more thing, though. Yes? Will you watch Fagin? Why is he gonna hatch? No. Our health teacher says we can't leave him alone. That's considered egg abuse. And since Paige and I are co-parenting and we're both going to the party and her parents are going out, we need a sitter. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, plans. Yeah, okay, sure. I'll watch your little egg child, but I want you to know I'm far too young to be a grandparent. And if uh, any of those senior boys bother you, father won't be quite himself. Ha, ha, ha!